Sour nigga. Yeah. Sure. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Hey guys, Salbon Nani. I hope you guys are fine. I'm good. My name is Awakiwe, also known as the Village Girl. And Namsanje, guys, we are in my village. Yo, Gunini, sitting Zali later. I always talk about my village. I own guy this and guy that, guy this and that. And Namsanje, guys, I'm going to show you the guy I always talk about. You know, the village that I always say I'm so proud to come from. Namsanje, I'm going to show you guys. And um, so we are in Dola Hali, Kota Gamela Enkai, and uh, we are here to shoot my first music video. Yay! Yay! My first music video, guys. I'm so excited to shoot my first music video where I grew up. La Pogulenk Abayami Corner is something that is so powerful, and I needed this experience. Like, trust me, guys, I needed this experience for myself first before I even share my creativity with other people. So this is why I decided to come home, you know, La Kabayami, a place that I have a connection with, a deep connection with, a spiritual connection with, you know. And La Pagé, I was just taking a walk behind my grandmother's field because this is where I used to play when I was young. I used to play and get dirty here. <laughs> and I needed this. I even told my mom, Ugutsi Mama, this is not just a music video. It's a much, much needed therapy session because I haven't been feeling well for a very long Long time for i think about two years i've been in and out of hospitals and it's been a very difficult time like i went through a lot of painful experiences you know and i've been slowly you know trying to heal and you know trying to heal physically and mentally and uh, there was a time when i couldn't even walk so the fact that i was here taking a walk again you know god has given me a second chance you know to do everything that i love and i'm not gonna waste it i'm gonna make the most of it this is where my gogo raised me and um this place means so much to me everything about this place every grain of sand every single thing means the world to me uh so this pink heart is where i wrote my first raps like this is where i started writing music and you know i made my first attempts and i would like mumble things the whole night i'll just go blah, 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 and i was just trying out you know and, and i was just trying it out to see if i could do it and my gogo witnessed all of that and my grandmother would always be like what are you mumbling when at the whole night and uh you know she would always complain but you were busy writing and mumbling the whole night now you finished all the paraffin and all the lamps because i would like stay up the whole night and uko would shout at me in the morning she would be like mm -mm -mm, you know what when when this music thing of yours pays off i want you to come here and give me my money and i want to buy a paraffin i want my paraffin back so you better work hard and make sure we get to this thing of yours pays off and um you know i always thought that was sweet because that was her way of telling me Uguti, you know i actually think it can pay off you know this craziness of yours and uh my gogo sadly passed on and she's no longer with us anymore but um how i wish she, she she was here just to see me coming back to shoot my video here and just so i could tell her with the gogo i haven't made it in music really but you know i've made enough to buy your paraffin <laughs> i've made enough i've made a couple of cents now i can afford to buy your paraffin i really wish you would see you know Ngabe Obe corner even the people who came you know the people from my community who came to watch us shooting they said the same thing they said yes we really wish she was here just to witness all of this she would have been so proud and um i i, I know and this is why i came lapa you know because this is my first time coming a kaya after ugoko passed on and uh, it was my way of you know not just grieving ugoko but just to give back to say gogo that moment you know when i first started writing and rapping and and you you know you 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 gave me so much support and love you know that moment meant everything to me you know and uh so i had to come back here just to connect with her and uh to to you know just since i wrote my first reps here i thought it would be amazing to shoot my first video here 
so it meant so much to me to also have so many people watching you know watching us shooting the video the support from my community the support from our chief chief dagamela from my friends the whole team everyone who supported us abantu who allowed us to work here it was just so beautiful and um day two of we rap ganda ganda video i'm not the one who chose this location it's marcus that guy is smiling there marcus kumalo he's the director he's the one who chose the the lot the second location which was on a tree inside gogo's field um so he said ah, i saw a beautiful tree you have to shoot here when Ukumalo told me about the tree at first i don't want to lie i was like ah, why should we shoot on a tree in kai has got so many beautiful places until i saw the tree and i was like oh my god this place is beautiful this is perfect i loved it the tree is just so beautiful you know the way that it was just lying there i don't know what happened here this is inside my gogos field i don't know what happened here i'm suspecting lightning or something but whatever happened thank god because we found ourselves a beautiful spot to shoot and um so this time i didn't bring many girls that just asked two beautiful ladies to shoot with me and um and yeah man it was just amazing we struggled to get on the tree though <laughs> look at me struggling we struggled to get on the tree you know and and, and they just pulled me up and uh, i stood up there and we kind of took time trying to figure out where the girls were going to sit or stand and how we were going to make the whole thing work but um we finally you know figured it out and i chose these two girls because you know they they had something about them the the, the other young lady had this much darker skin tone and her face was just so beautiful and i looked at her and she reminded me of those you know dark skinned girls on vogue magazines and i was like yeah boy you're the one and uh the other lady was also very beautiful young girl and she was a, you know she had this confidence and she had this look and she had this sassiness that i liked so uh yeah so i thought these two are perfect and they killed it whoa they killed it these girls killed it oh my god they were so gorgeous they were just so gorgeous they gave everything that was supposed to be given Woo! and la Pagaya, they were just helping me with the final touches and uh we were also trying to figure out you know uh what else we could add just so that we could make this scene look you know more beautiful and artistic so uh yeah we had smoke bombs we had smoke bombs uh, but uh, yeah i think we used one smoke bomb a red one because we wanted it to match with the what we were wearing you can check it out on the video it came out so perfect so perfect so Lapage Marcus Kumala was just sweeping the leaves because we wanted to burn the leaves and just have a bit of smoke before we added the smoke bomb. And um the guy who is under the tree, La Payana, uh taking pictures is Duncan Kiwane Pixel Visuals. Yeah, this Duncan Kiwane, the best photographer ever. We had such a great time working with Duncan. He is the sweetest, kindest you know like person ever good energy good vibes so we enjoyed working with duncan he took beautiful photos and as you can see there we've got some smoke marcus set up some smoke and uh the girls oh look at the girls they are popping so they were also like you know they said sister we want you to have a glow now we want you to glow on the video we don't want you to look uh ashy so they were helping me okay look at singing ambashi you know and they were like okay to sick fagabu my baby oil what 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 <laughs> and marcus and duncan were just um you know also getting ready waiting for me it was hot guys i dollar hali is hot like i was drinking water every minute this place is hot if you want to come here bring like 300 liters of water i mean i was busy spraying spraying some water on my face just trying to make sure that you know i stay moisturized but yo it was hot i don't want to lie it was hot like yo it was very hot the sun here does not even care about your sunscreen sunscreen here you can bring your spf 50 here you will burn <laughs> you will burn anyway guys we went down to drink some more water and you know marcus was just checking if it's safe for us to come back and then the rest you guys are gonna see it on the video <laughs> okay guys before we wrap up the scene i want 
want to show you guys how the dress I was wearing was made. This dress was made by a tribe called Zimbabwe. A tribe called Zimbabwe. Oh my god. A tribe called Zimbabwe is like the best fashion brand in the world because they make these beautiful dresses from cowhide yes you had it right cowhide this is cowhide mm -hmm. so uzana k she dyed this this cowhide and made it pink and made this beautiful barbie dress and she put those beautiful ropes on the side and she put these golden beads on the dress and the dress was just so beautiful and a tribe called zimbabwe also made the crown so when i told them about what i wanted and the whole idea for the video they said oops sorry we are fully booked and then they surprised me with this you know they said hi our can you please come to our workshop we have something for you and it was this dress oh! and i was so happy guys i don't want to lie i even cried i was so happy because i was like wow and this is when i tried the dress on that's zana k right there and oh my god tribe is amazing so guys please follow a tribe called zimbabwe and check out their beautiful work oh you know the fashion brand celebrates zimbabwe's diversity like that's my favorite thing about the tribe called zimbabwe brand they celebrate our diversity i've learned so much just from following their work and learned so much about our culture and about other cultures because in zimbabwe we are such a diverse nation we've got 16 official languages we've got countless diverse cultures and sometimes you find people looking at diversity as if it's a bad thing you know and focusing on our differences in a negative way but a tribe called zimbabwe celebrates our diversity through fashion which is amazing you know because if you look at if you look at the dress that i was wearing on ganda ganda the cowhide dress and how you know and how royal i looked i mean i come on guys i look like a queen and i also love how you know a tribe called zimbabwe you know paints royal pictures of africa because we are royal as africans and sometimes you find people focusing on the poverty african politics and forgetting to paint you know positive pictures about africa and forgetting that as africans we're royal and we need to 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 teach people about how royal we are we need to celebrate how royal we are we need to teach our children how royal we are you know so i love that about a tribe called zimbabwe it is my favorite fashion brand and i love working with them because you know the the whole concept uh Uganda, Uganda, the rep Uganda, Uganda concept was celebrating african royalty so it just made perfect sense I had such a great time working with a tribe called zimbabwe thank you so much to the founders and okay you are amazing and shout out to the whole a tribe called zimbabwe team you guys your professionalism is out of this world thank you so much guys for watching my vlog this is only part one uh no vlogs are coming so thank you and this is how it came out you know this is how it came out everything was just so beautiful you know look at how it came out look at how we're popping <laughs> the rap kind kind of music video is out on youtube guys so please go check it out and see how everything came out you know this this scene was one of my favorite scenes and i hope you guys are gonna enjoy thank you so much for watching my sweetheart see you next time bye <laughs>